Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome. I hope that you will like what you see and subscribe below for more. In today's video, I am gonna be making some adjustments to a bias cut satin skirt that I purchased from H&M. So Jerome and I, we like to shop at H&M. He likes some of the pieces that they have in the men's section. And I like some of the things that I see in the women's side. I like that they also go up to extra, extra large, which most of the time will fit my hips, but not my waist. And that's what happened with the skirt. So this bias cut satin skirt, these are really popular right now. Um, they've been popular for a couple of years. I see a lot of people pairing them with, you know, little uh, oversized graphic tees and maybe some sneakers or with a sweater and some sneakers, like you can dress it up or dress it down, the satin, like you really can't go wrong with it. And so I really do like these skirts. I have one from Target, I have one from H&M. I also have a McCall's pattern. <laughs> so I did try it on in the dressing room and while it fit my hips nicely, it just kind of flows. I really don't like anything hugging too much all the time on my hips, um, unless I'm out with Jerome and like we're like going out or something. But if it's just like everyday chill, I just want stuff to be loose on me. And this skirt, I love the way that it just flowed over my hips, but the waist was too big. But I saw that, you know what, it's an elastic waist. Um, that's an easy fix to a skirt that I like. And I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of. The stitching on this is nice. The fabric, the quality of it is really nice. So I figured, you know what, just a quick little take in of the waist and I'm good to go. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking in the waist on this H&M skirt so that I can actually start wearing this. This is gonna be perfect for transitioning into fall and I think this is the perfect time to fix it. So let's get started. Before I get started, I do want to say that there are a couple ways that you can adjust this. So for me, I am just going to take it out of the side seams, but the skirt also has darts in the back here. So if you prefer, you can take a little bit off of the side seams and then also take some out of the darts. For me, I'm choosing to leave the darts alone and just to take it in on both of the sides. Okay, before I get started, I'm just taking a look at the skirt and I'm looking at the seams that they have. So they didn't do any understitching. I do see that there are two darts back here in the back of the skirt. You all see that there. So because of that, I don't just want to take it all out on this side here where you can see they join the elastic. So it looks like they stitched the elastic down and then folded the edges of the elastic back. Looks like they surged off the edges and then stitched it down like so. And then they just tacked the elastic to the seam allowance here. So, okay, I feel like I can definitely, you know, make the adjustment and make my skirt look just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture though, just in case I don't wanna forget. <laughs> so I'm just taking pictures to see how everything is connected in here. So this side of the elastic, I'm gonna have it looking like this one because I don't wanna take all the elastic off. I feel like I can definitely make this adjustment by only removing maybe three inches on the side seams. And that way I can make the adjustment and then just attach the elastic back along the sides. I also decided that I'm just gonna take up an inch on both sides. I'm gonna start there, I'll base it in place to see if I like it. If I wanna take in more, I will. If I wanna let it out, I will. But I'm gonna take in an inch. That's what I'm gonna start with, which is really gonna end up being two inches on both sides because you have an inch on the front, you have an inch on the back, all together it's gonna to be two inches. So that's why I'm gonna start here along the sides. Again, I'm gonna base that in place, try it on, see if I need to make adjustments. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my seam ripper here. And I am going to take out this stitch here where they have it connected to the skirt. I can't really see it on that side, so let me just come under here. Okay, I see it here. So I'm just gonna start unpicking these stitches here. Okay, so I have that side separated there. And now I can go ahead and remove the seam here along the waist. It's really hard to see because it's black, but okay, let's do it. I'm taking it out. It's happening, people, it's happening. <laughs> it actually looks like it's double stitched. They've stitched this twice, so okay. First I'm gonna take out this one, then I'll go back and do the other one. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side and I'm just coming maybe three inches here. I have this yardstick on my table. Let's see how far I am from, yeah, I'm about three inches where I've started picking from the side seam. So 
that is where I am. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. I'm just gonna slowly start to unpick my stitches. The one thing about taking this in is because this is elastic, it has to go over my hips. I wanna make sure that I get it as close as to fitting my waist as possible without compromising it so that it won't go up over my hips. It's only gonna stretch so much, um, so I have to keep that in mind. Yes, I want it to fit my waist, but I also wanna make sure that it'll go over my hips without you know, popping any seams. So that's also something that I'm gonna keep in mind. You should keep that in mind as well. I'm just gonna continue unpicking this, and again, I'm gonna do it for the other side. Okay, now that I have this side taken out, I'm gonna grab my Taylor's chalk here, and I'm just gonna match it up here with the seam, and I'm just gonna kinda make a mark so that I unpick it at the same distance on both sides. So now I'm just gonna start unpicking this side of it. Okay, I have taken off the elastic on both sides of the skirt, so you can see the openings here again on both sides. So first I'm gonna go ahead and make the adjustments to the skirt and then I will adjust the elastic. So I said I wanted to take in an inch on both sides. So first let me just turn this right side inside out like this. So I can see my seams here and I'm gonna grab my ruler. So first thing I'm gonna do is from the seam here, I'm gonna measure over an inch and again, this is just, like I said, where I am starting at. I'm starting at an inch. I'll baste it, try it on, see if I like it, and then make adjustments from there. So this side is actually still kind of sewn down. So I'm gonna start an inch from the seam. The seam is there. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna place a mark. I'm gonna also grab a pin and place a pin here to hold that in place. Okay, if you need to, you can press it. It's a little bit slippery now that the right sides of the fabric is together, but I'm just gonna grab my ruler here. And I'm just gonna kinda do an angle on this so that it's coming up to my waist. So when I sew this, I'm gonna be stitching and I'm just gonna blend in right back into the side seam of the skirt. So I'm just creating a little bit of a, kind of a dart that I'm gonna be sewing and then trimming off, but this is what it looks like here. That's where I'm gonna baste it at first. So I'm basting this in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put all pins in here so that the layers stay together. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be basting. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side here, and then I'm gonna try it on. I'm just gonna baste it in place first, and I'm just gonna create the same wedge, but first I'm gonna match this up over here so that I know I'm gonna be stopping at the same place with it. Okay, now that I have both sides of it pinned, I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine. I'm gonna do a basting stitch and try everything on. All right, so here's the skirt after I baste it in place. As you can see, the waist, the waist is touching, so that's really good. I think I'm just gonna leave the waist how it is. I don't think I need to make any more adjustments to that. I think taking in an inch was perfect, so the waist is fitting really good. I did have to shimmy it up a little bit, but not too much. I didn't hear any um, stitches popping, so that's good. I do kind of want to go back and play with the side seams here. Since the skirt isn't coming straight up anymore, I got more of a curve coming in now. I want this to curve a little bit nicer. I'm pretty sure you all can see like the bumps and the ripples here. So I think maybe not so much on this, maybe like a quarter of an inch right here. On this side, same right here. Very, very lightly, nothing major. I feel like even if I press it, it's still gonna poke out a little bit. So if I can just 
smooth that because I, I don't know if y'all can see it. it's like a it's popping out weirdly and that's where I stopped my stitch so if I can just kind of continue that down a little bit more I'll be happy with that same thing over here this is where I stopped my stitch so I just want to smooth that down a little bit more and then I think we'll be good but yeah the waist looks good again I only took in an inch which is an inch for the front inch for the back so it's a total of four inches that I have taken off the waist here. So I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put my regular stitch in because I needed a basting stitch. And I'm just gonna carry that stitch down a little bit past this. So I may put a pin here, that way I know, kind of like keep going to the pin. Same thing on that side. And then we can shorten the elastic for the skirt. Okay, so I went back and I smoothed out my side seams a little bit more just to kind of take out those um, kind of puckers that I saw. So now I'm going to go to my serger and I'm going to trim off this excess here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but here's my stitch here. This is excess. So I'm just going to trim this off the same way that they did here in the skirt. I'm going to use my serger and just kind of serge off my seams to match the original seam. Okay, I have searched off the edges here. I hope that you all can see that. Let me try to put it. Well, no, you can't see. Hope you all can see that. Now for this edge down here, first I'm gonna trim off these threads here. But for this edge of thread that's down here at the bottom, I'm gonna take these knitting needles. I'll purchase these in a knitting kit from We Are Knitters. So I'm just gonna grab this one here with the serger thread here. Then I'm just gonna carry it through my seam. Now, if you do not have this kind of needle, that's totally fine. You can just tie it in a knot and trim it off. And I'm just carrying it through the serge. So I'm just kind of hiding the excess of it in here. That should be enough, let's see. All right. Okay, it hit some of it. So I'll just kind of tuck that in there. I'm going to trim off this that's at the bottom of it. And that's what it looks like here. I just kind of carried in the excess. This part up here I'm going to trim off, so I'm not worried about that. I'm going to do the same thing for this one here. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm just going to trim that off there. And I'm going to trim off these loose threads down here. Great. So I have that trimmed off. Now let's go ahead and start to work on the elastic. Now for the elastic, I need the elastic to be smaller than the actual fabric here. That way it will stretch. So I don't, it doesn't need to be the exact size. It needs to be a little bit shorter. So at first I'm just gonna cut it in half like so. Okay, so for this, now that I have it cut, I'm just gonna lap it first and I'm just gonna pin it. I wanna see if it's lining up. So that kind of is about the same size as the skirt. I need to take in a little bit more. And as you can see, my seam is right here. So I kind of want the seam with the elastic to be over here as well. So I'm gonna untake this, take that out, lap it, bring it there. So when I pull on the elastic now, it's you know spreading enough for the skirt. And that's what you want. You don't want it to be the exact same uh, measurement as the skirt. You want the elastic to be a little bit shorter. So that way when you pull it, the skirt expands, which is what it's doing now. So I like this here. I am going to go ahead and just kind of line this up a little bit better. I really want it to... <laughs> Uh, be lined up on that side. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and pin it in place. If it doesn't match up with the skirt, I'll be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this down. I'm gonna do the other side first though. So again, you saw how they had that one stitched together and then they stitched down the elastic. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. Just gonna cut right down that one like that. Trimming off this excess here. So from here, I am gonna go to the sewing machine and stitch down the elastics now. Okay. 
Now that I'm still at the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and fold back the excess here. And I'm gonna stitch about a quarter of an inch over from my center stitch here. And then I can just trim off the excess. But first I'm gonna stitch down about a quarter of an inch to it. I'm gonna do that same stitch on the other side. Okay, I am just trimming off my stitches here. I mean, my loose threads. I'm trimming off my loose threads here. And now that I have the fabric tacked down, now that I have the elastic tacked down, I can trim close to that stitching to remove this bulk here. All right, now that I have the elastic prepped, I'm gonna line it up here with this seam line it up the same way that they have it lined up here. I'm just gonna basically reconnect it. So I'm gonna line it up, place a pin here. Let me look at the bottom of this seam because I wanna make sure I have my seam allowance going the same direction. Okay, so the seam allowance is facing this way. You can see up here, I have it facing a different direction. So I'm gonna remove that pin, flip it, so that the seam allowance is going the same way as the hem of the skirt. Okay, I'm gonna place my pin back and continue pinning here. Okay, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine now and I'm just going to follow along with the same stitches here from the skirt. So we took out two stitches, so I'm gonna stitch first on the bottom one then come up and just follow along with the top stitch. So that is what I'm gonna do now. All right, let's go ahead and stitch the elastic back onto the skirt. Okay, so this is my regular straight stitch that I use for most of my sewing. As you can see here, it's the one where the needle just goes straight down the middle and it's just a single stitch. When I came over here just now, I realized that number 12 looks more so like the stitches on the skirt. It's more of a double stitch, um, more secure. So I tapped on this and that's what I just used to sew the elastic to the waist. Um, but it's more of a double stitch um, or more of a like secure stitch, not just a single stitch. So that's why I went ahead and used that one. But this is what the side seam is looking like. I think it looks really great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that same stitch here. All right, y'all, the elastic is back attached. This is what the skirt looks like on the outside. This is what this, the seam matches pretty decent. I'm not gonna complain. Fold this over like so, and then I just need to tack it to the seam allowance here. You can get a needle and thread to tack it. Okay, I have a needle and thread here. I'm just gonna do a couple um, <clears throat> back and forth tacks. Again, I'm only using, I'm only on the seam allowance and not on the skirt, just the seam allowance. I'm just gonna go back and forth here a few times just to tack this down. And cut the thread. You can do two knots if you want. And there you have it. She's all nice. Look at that. You don't want to see the thread on the outside. This is how it looks. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, last step. And we're done. I am so excited. I just need to give everything a really nice press. And now... We still have the stretch here at the waist. Let's try it on and see how it looks. All right, y'all, the skirt is done. I just need to press out my seams, but I love the way it looks. It's a much better fit. It's not like sliding off of me at the waist. And I love it. Well, that is all for the video and I really do hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down for me below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Blessings everyone. Bye.